Welcome to the Friendly Jimmy's Podcast, edition number, who knows at this point, and who cares? Numbers are arbitrary. 34, but... We're 34. We are, I think, two to three days away from Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Uh, I'm excited. I don't and know if we... notice that he said, Merry Christmas, not Happy Holidays. Let's yeah, keep it that way. Yeah, I'll, 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 be, racist. I'll be six <laughs> feet under before I start saying Happy Holidays, before the loony left get your hold of this pod. Hello, A&WU. Uh, Pantera? No, Panthera. Panthera. But Panthera but are Terra a good band. Great band as well. But thanks for being they with us. They deserve their dues. We're... We're in, it's the silly season. We're on holidays. Well, we're not on holidays, but most people are on holidays. So I hope you're drinking a Corona. Nah, fuck Corona. I hope you're drinking a fucking VB. And uh, how uh, are you guys Christmas Grinches? Or are you, are you pro? Do you enjoy Christmas or do you hate Christmas? Or do you, are, are you, are you, uh, you know, you don't mind Christmas? You're giving me a lot to mull on here, you know. Because <laughs> well, it yeah. is true. As soon as you hit your 30s, you think, oh, again. And you yeah, know what I think that the, yeah, I'm a what would like solve that? Buy everyone you know some Lego. What That's about all you need? Like, you know why? What about your parents? Yes, you're going to buy your parents Lego. Well, I mean, I mean your dad would like it. it. No, he, <laughs> he certainly wouldn't. What if it was like? Uh, what you know what it, I'd say? You, what you know what it, he'd say? He'd open it and he'd just look at me like, "What's this shit?" What if it was Porn Stars Canada Edition Lego? You build that, yeah. <laughs> Now you're talking. Now you're then, cooking with gas. <laughs> All right. No. What I do is I take him to an old storage warehouse that I buy like a $60 storage ute from. Yeah. Open it up. And inside is a bunch of Lego. Then he Yeah, yeah. It. And then he'd just be like- is He'd be vintage? running- No, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'd be running his hands on like the the truck that brought it in. Just be like, mm, 80% rusty. That is your good margin. <laughs> Uh, Look, for anyone who doesn't know my dad, just imagine Bill O'Reilly, but skinnier. And now with, <laughs> with the added addition of a sea shanty beard. Ali, he's got a you, beard now? He's got yeah, a, he I haven't like seen it, but captain. apparently he does. Are I've, you, got a, I've got a horrible Christmas present story, actually. Tell us, tell us. Um, I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't bought any, by the way, because apparently we're not doing them this year. So I was supposed to get one for my, like, for my girlfriend, right? Yeah. And um, she had this thing of like, don't spend more than um, uh, thirty dollars on the gift. That was the rule. That's a, that's I like that rule. But here's the thing. So, I, and so for those of you who don't know, she is twenty four years old, but also a massive fan of share. Damn. So I'd like to know how that happened. So because <laughs> the last song that she would have released, she wouldn't have been alive. No, she was. And she's very against Sunny. She hates <laughs> Dude, she's an old well, at soul. At least her priorities she, lie the she, same place. She, she's an old so soul, man, by out. definition. So check this out. So I go on eBay and I find a hand autograph poster <sighs> of Cher. And it's worth $29. What? What? Dude, that's a miracle. That's a modern day that miracle. That is not a miracle. This, this story gets worse. So I don't have a gift. I, I ended up not giving her anything because, so I buy this poster, right? This yeah. hand uh, assigned laminated poster Fuck. for $29. Whoa. That's amazing. Okay. The guy messages me two days later, like just like yesterday saying, hey, sir, I'm going to be honest. I don't know where the fuck I kept that poster. It's probably... <laughs> Christmas in Australia. Oh my god, what a useless fuck. He <laughs> says, it's probably in my garage somewhere, but there's a lot of shit over there, so let me check. And I'll come <laughs> back to phone. you tomorrow. Today, he does not come back to me. I just get a refund of my oh. money. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's Eastbound and Down. Have you seen that show? <laughs> Eastbound no. and Down? It's just like this old baseball. It's like, I'm going to sell you my old shit. And then like- you know, n like yeah, he's just it's exactly the same thing. He's just like I can't find that, so like uh, I'll get you, I'll get it to you maybe next year or something. Like that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, so I, you got her I, I didn't get her anything, so she gave me like my uh, gift, uh, which were like uh, uh, hand uh, hand uh, embroidered handkerchiefs for my hay fever, uh, a, a book of uh, Michael Clark, the cricketer, the story of Ashes 2015. And you Ali, Ali. were very happy with that. I was not, because it was As, just a yeah, I know, exactly. screenshot of ESPN Crick Info score stats in the book. <laughs> Half of it is a screen, are screenshots of actual score lines. <laughs> what? Uh, How many golden ducks? How many golden ducks did you get? Three or four? You got it right. Nah. Three. 
because <laughs> Captain Michael Clark was trying his best to keep Australia's head high. Uh, that's the moral of oh, that yeah. Ashes story. No golden ducks, couple of ducks. <laughs> that's that's almost as bad as the Matthew McConaughey autobiography. Yeah. That you got. Uh, I don't think Mum's watching, but if you are, I love that book. Look, I mean, just, look, it, even the Michael Clark one. Also, yeah, yeah, he does love that book. You know what? It, it, it was, it was, yeah, you know, you hatched in the right place. Yeah, look, Jordan pointed out, like, it's a self help book. I think it's just a self help book with like recipes for barbecue pits, southern barbecue in there. It's just like and that's how you win a laugh. Now here's a ripping recipe for a smoky southern uh, Jack Daniels infused ribs, which really is the best self help book I could ever get. So I'm, I'm fine with it. Help yourself to some ribs. <laughs> yeah, help yourself. Then you help yourself to some ribs. But, um, Matthew McConaughey is trending. He's the new face of uh, he's uh, a moderate politics now. I gotta, uh, why, why? Because he went on uh, Joe Rogan. Uh-huh. Or, right. No, sorry, Russell Brand. Yeah. And right. he said, the loony left is crazy. But show and is the Trump. right wing are just indoctrinated by fake news. I'm a radical yeah. moderate. Yeah, that's him. That's the new kind. Uh, welcome to the club, Matthew. And he's 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 got a lot of fans. He's got like the 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 Jordan Peterson fans who are like also radical moderates. Love him. Yeah. They obviously know he's not nearly as smart as Jordan Peterson. Yeah. But he belongs to the same Come subset on, that's of me. Brick, come on over. McConaughey, you can join. It's just a one time joining th- fee of thirty dollars. You know what? Though? <laughs> what? So you could get Ali a gift? Why is it no. thirty bucks? I think it was just fresh. I, I was just trying to be fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he could swig it. Well, I, dude, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm like trying to talk about some conspiracy theories. I think that guy is pretty rich. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's he, he's struggling. <laughs> I think that guy owns uh, half Dallas, of Texas. Uh, Dallas Buyers Club was not nearly as <laughs> profitable as Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fuck. Wait, he was in Wolf of Wall Street. He was. Too shit, yeah. He was. That's what he- <laughs> <laughs> no, but he had a shitty role where he just had to ooh, come into ooh, so ooh, lame. Ooh. I, don't I just know, don't understand how that guy grew up in Texas. But every time I look at him, I think no. But if he didn't have that accent, I swear to God, I would have thought you grew up in Byron Bay. Yeah, mm. that you just be. Um, he's he's got that. He's vibe. a Byron Bay kind of character. He yeah. is. He is. He would love to live in Byron Bay. It's actually yeah. pretty interesting that he's taken that step. That means that things are turning in Hollywood. You would not be able to have that view there. Nah, really? Unless you were Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. That's the yeah. only differing p- political view that you could have, which is that <laughs> Ronald Reagan kind of looked like me. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen... Have you and guys? Clint Eastwood was like from uh, uh, a Republican from the beginning, right? He was yeah, never... Yeah. He, he, he's an old school yeah. political guy. Yeah, he is. You, got, you can, he uh, can get away with Oliver it. Oliver Stone of the right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen his thing of just being <laughs> like, so if you good. think JFK what is mean? good. Shut your me kicking ass as a cop. Yeah. If you think JFK is good, American Sniper is also all right. <laughs> that is a true, that's the truest sentence I've ever heard. That's the truest sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> that's very accurate. Yeah. All that's my like, other movies are just me saying, you need to make sandwiches like this anymore. Have you seen all of his other films? Of course I have. It's just King of the Hill, the movie, over and over again. Have you seen his, like, weird senile rant of being like, Obama here. (laughs) Obama, what what did you get to see? I didn't, I don't don't think that you're right there, Clinton. Oh, really? You just sat in your ass the whole whole term? You sat in your ass the whole term? Yeah, I pretty much the whole term. Oh, man. You, you got to sit out to you gotta put yourself out to dry. Man, that is a guy <laughs> who is way too famous. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely I that was, famous. I thought that was a pretty good impression. Yeah, yeah. well, it was. Yeah. Do, you, do you guys remember a time? I remember like uh, when Marlon Brando, well, I don't remember it. I wasn't born, but I've seen videos as a child. When Marlon Brando won the Oscar, he sent like this um, yes, Native American Native woman. To take I remember when yeah. I was a child, I used to think that was sick. I used to think like actors that uh, go on a limb and take political positions fucking rock. Even someone like Clint Eastwood, I didn't like the fact that he was a Republican because I was a child and I was like, Obama is the savior. Yeah, um, and you were right. But I still appreciated him because I was like, it takes courage for someone to like risk all of that to hold a political position. Yeah. And now it's the extreme opposite of that. Yeah. Where anyone that takes a position, you're like, oh, fuck. Well, a lot of- Crowd mentality, you uh, caved you, in. You know, what, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? It's funny you mention that because a lot of people like in the political sphere uh, 
pinpoint that uh, thing that Marlon Brando did where he, when, he, when he got a Native American to, to accept the award on his behalf as like the, the, the pinpoint where like- It all went bad? Yeah. I can see that. I can see that happening. That's known as like the crux of like- When was that? 70s. 70s or something. Right. And you know what's weird about, you know, I, this is just a stupid like observation, but I watched that. You know what's weird about it? The, the Native American girl looks like someone from the Brady Bunch dressed up. She looks like the whitest person in like she California. Was white. <laughs> so I thought it was like a parody. What? When I first saw it, I thought it was a parody. But you know, like the Hollywood at the time hated it. Can you imagine really? a world where Hollywood hates that, that move? That's a weird thought. Now, that's a crazy like he's gonna, not only does he win the Oscars after doing that, he also wins a Lifetime Achievement Award on the spot for doing that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But there was a time when everyone was like, that, I think they that were, was I think they, that was they wanted to like crazy. take it off him. Yeah, they were, they didn't so want to give him the Oscar. Imagine all, it's when Clint Eastwood was like winning awards, you know. But yeah, it's crazy times. What would Hollywood <laughs> hate now? <laughs> um, racist, I would assume. Oh, you know what it would be? Imagine this. Instead of getting uh, myself to accept the award, I am getting Donald Trump to accept it. Yeah, for can me. you imagine that? <laughs> oh shit! Holy and shit! And Donald Trump, and Donald Trump up. would be down. Yeah. Donald Trump would show up. And I, like, I, I so tell him, you miss me. Yeah. <laughs> I accept this on behalf yeah. of myself and him, and I'm sure he would like to thank me, dude. Uh, imagine uh, everyone starting booing. it with "Oh, boo yourself." Yeah, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. Everyone's booing. <laughs> you can just imagine and be like, "Oh, who's that?" Uh, Michael G, like, you know, just like calling them out, like, Michael G, for, I saw your last film. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible <laughs> film. Who's that? Lena Dunham. You, I don't, terrible filmmaker. No one likes your films. Like, it, well, the Oscars like, wants views. You know, he just recently <laughs> said, because <laughs> Fox News accepted reality and said, look, I'm really sorry that Donald Trump lost the election, but Joe Biden just officially became president. And then he said, that's it. Everybody tune out of Fox News, fake news, Newsmax. That's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bill O'Reilly was sitting there being like, all right, O'Reilly's back in the hot seat. Wait a sec. It's wait now a sec. beating Fox News in the ratings. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. I just got, okay, I'm not going to lie. I just got a little distracted because Marilyn just said, you know who would be good to bring up for Hollywood? Weinstein. <laughs> no, th he already is. You know, there's like a massive the statue. statue of him. Yeah, that, that's yeah. how weird. Like the French. No, bring up. the statue to life. But, but, but like, but like, can you just say that again? I don't think I even Harry Weinstein can do that anymore. Have you seen him, dude? He's, no. he's dead. He probably will be. Dead. <laughs> you can can, can you quick take his brain out and put it in? Can you repeat the Max News things? I, I was, I wasn't listening. Can you, can you say that again? Fox News. Yeah. Just lost its lead as the highest rating cable news show to Newsmax. Why? Why? That don't, huh? But why? I because the Trump sent out a tweet saying, watch Newsmax instead of Fox News. Why? Because they accepted that Joe Biden became president <laughs> and that pissed him off. <laughs> and it just sunk the most powerful name in media on earth. Like that, that, my friends, is a cult of personality. Holy shit. His, so wait a second, wait a second. His kids Fox, are still he's saying- such a wait, king. So, so, so I'm Fox, so happy. It's such a great position for Donald Trump to be in. He can still do all the rallies, but he doesn't control climate change policy globally anymore. It's the best of both worlds. Dude, so you're telling me Trump has the power to just be like, fuck. It's so perfect that the only way Fox would lose the lead in their media, you know, uh, like clench on the media- would be from being Fox is too left wing <laughs> <laughs> by accepting the Biden win. Does he no, have but, that but, power? But Fox that power? was really apologetic the entire time because I've seen it. I've seen Laura Ingram sit there and just be like, look, I'm really sorry to say this. I know I'm going to get so much blowback about this, but like we do have some journalistic standards here. We have to just accept Jesus this. Christ. Joe Biden won. And the dislike ratio. You could tell that he was just like, that's it. This ends now. Trump has that power. Yeah. Dude. Evidently. Because <laughs> he never won. He's still the president. <laughs> He's still the president, man. He's, dude, his tweets, I'm still I'm still keeping up with like some of, I don't know where I see them. No, 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 no. I follow him on Instagram. So his Instagram, they're like his tweets on Instagram. Fuck, man. They're, they're just, they're just, I'm sorry. Like, you know, I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt at the beginning, but now I'm just, I, I have to concede. That guy's funny, man. <laughs> like he- Four the shit, years later. Like the shit he's saying. Like, dude, there was one that was just kind of like, 
just, it's getting obscure. Like it's getting obtuse. You know, like he's just like, I, I elected, I got, uh, the people of Wishkansh elected the honorable Republican judge, blah, blah, blah. I got him, I got him in. I, I, it was one over, great, great judge. He just came out saying he uh, concedes for a Biden win. Whoa, the quote, whoa, unbelievable. Boycott the judge. I think you forgot who got you in power. This is like a tweet. So now he's just shunning anyone that's accepting the, the presidency. So like, but that's a lot of people. He's legitimately crazy, right? Well, like, I don't know it anymore. I think, yeah, I no, think he's crazy lost the like plot. a fox. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's getting, it's getting to the point now. The thing that pisses me off is like, he's like, the Dems, uh, uh, Jordan pointed out, like, he's like, the Dems stole it, unprecedented. It's like, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but didn't Bush still steal uh, Florida through like gerrymandering, uh, you know, essentially gerrymandering votes, a uh, pork barreling, whatever it is in, in Florida for that election. Mm. That, I mean, that was- The Supreme Court came in and just stopped the vote. Yeah. There. So that was actually, that actually happened. Yeah. Well, like it's so, it, it's just crazy. It's like never been done. It's like, dude, if anything, but just, they're just evening up the score for it. <laughs> Even this is this. I'm going to put it out there. This is the most lefty <laughs> radical thing I've ever said. Yeah. If Biden stole the election, let him have it. The scoreboard's even now. <laughs> and what a crazy world we would have lived in if Al Gore became the president instead of I George know. Bush. We'd be, it'd be the Jetsons right now. We would probably have Afghanistan, but also we would have a lot more windmills. And hover mm. cars. Mm. We'd have hover cars. And that- Holocaust, because he was- <laughs> What? Wait, wait, kidding, go I'm on. Kidding, I'm yeah, kidding. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he seems like a good man. Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't know what you even. But am I crazy? Just attacking him. What? Am I crazy saying that? Saying that, saying uh, that you're evening out the scoreboard. Yeah. Is that a crazy statement? Mm. No. Look, legally, yes. Cosmically, no. How? Cosmic? As as always with you. <laughs> mm? What do you mean cosmically no? Well, you are. I'm it's wrong. It's just tit for tat. That is That's karma what, at its finest. Yeah. And like, dude, I'm sorry. Like, you know, it's probably just because I hang around Jordan so much, but like, I'm on that Biden train. He's got a funny face, man. That's the only way they could have won. Are you on the Biden train? Yeah. Like, I don't think he's like a man, revolutionary, been, but like, I'm on, I, I think like it's- That is a huge turnaround for Ali. I that am, was his yeah. most controversial- Dude, we're, we're, <laughs> we're meeting in the middle. Ding, ding, ding. I'm also like really, I've been doing a lot of research on China lately. And the more I do it, the more I'm actually getting excited that Biden is Why? coming. In. Because like, I, I have hope that he'll fix things. Sick. Me too. I think that that's the right. Like, I do as well because Obama was trying to paint him as a boob in his entire book. Mm. And he really? had control over it. And he looks like a boob. And Biden looks like the sensible one in his administration. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because he was the one you told me that he was like running in and be like, hold on, Jack. We don't need to go in Iran. That kind of shit, right? Yeah, Yeah, he's he's always- Just coming in and being like, where are you jacks doing in here? More like Jack Ashes. (laughs) Get the hell out of here. (laughs) To the CIA. There's nothing bad about it. Fuck, our audience is right. We say everything bad that ever happened was a CIA. CIA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prove me wrong, kid. I'm not pro his smelling children thing, but he came from a different time, people. That yeah. was a, it was expected of you back then. That's how, because not many people took showers. You had to check. <laughs> You're supposed to. You were supposed to pick up kids and just be like, "Hey, you want some salt water taffy? You're hurting me. Shut up." That was how it was. <laughs> he's like a hundred years old, and he. Uh, the other thing that he uh, he's he knows a lot about China because he spent mm. a lot of time with Chinese leaders. Really, a lot more than Obama. I did not know that. Yeah, he's like a Kevin Rudd without knowing Chinese. What? And also not being that that's, smart. That's a, that's a great, that's that's a good thing. I, I, I'm, yeah, good I, thing. I'm hopeful with the whole thing of like, I'm hopeful that like if there's some sort of level of diplomacy and a lack, if you just cut away the scare campaigns and the media, the fake news, maybe there can be some like diplomacy where it's like, you know, China and America don't have to like want to go to war. Like I believe that if America can give them con- some concessions, it'll actually help everyone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It won't even hinder America. I think it's very what important What a weird for us podcast too. this is. We're as much fans of Xi Jinping as we are of Joe Biden. Speak for yourself. Man, I'm a fan <laughs> I'm of yeah, that train. Slightly less. That's true. <laughs> slightly, slightly less. Come on. Just by a hair, Joe Dude. Biden wins out in Miss Love's mind. <laughs> oh. 
no, 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 dude. Look, when it still comes to China, I'm just like, I'm not happy. This this uh, this uh, poker table is red. You know. Don't worry, Joe. That's Biden's true. And also, also you don't understand, cunt. They eat fucking dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and look, dude, if, you're, yeah. if you're going to win me over, stop trying to try and argue with me on economic points, all right? Just show me that picture, all right? Show me the wet no. markets, and then I'll probably talk. Yeah, yeah you, don't, hey, I, I read, you don't want to see that. I saw this YouTube video yesterday. This Chinese lady in China, don't know where, uh, she bought a Tibetan Mastiff dog, no. raised it for two years. No. It turned out to be a black bear. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Damn, that's funny. <laughs> and she was like, she's not going to give it up. Well, oh. it almost was about to, until like the authorities were like, no, we're taking this away. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like, like a It's, it's basically film. a dog. It's like, it's walking on two feet. It's not a dog. Dude, that sounds like a Studio Ghibli film. You know what I mean? <laughs> she got conned. by uh, Some wet market lady was like, yeah, Tibetan Mesti, 100%. Oh. And it was a bear. <laughs> it was a bear. Jesus. <laughs> um, Only in China. But yeah, look, you know, like I'm, I'm uh, I for one am... I, for one, am, am glad to introduce our new overlord, Jay Biden. I think, like, we in Australia, the Australian government at least is looking very eagerly at Joe Biden to fix things with China because we yeah. are in a lot of shit now. Pathetic, isn't it? And we don't want to, like, uh, this is my opinion, but we don't want to... Um, we don't want to necessarily cave into Chinese demands because that means that we're every time they tra- threaten yeah, us with some sort of trade, we're going to kill Yeah, it. it's like once the, now but that... But it's the hurting, da- so we're hoping that yeah, Joe Biden comes and yeah. fixes us and now, we get fixed as a proxy. No, you're right. Now that the damage is done, it's just like, all right, we're going to have to, you know, we made our beds. We're going to have to yeah. sleep in them. But it's like, you could have made a nicer bed, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well... <laughs> Scott Morrison's Prime Minister's ship in a nutshell. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Yeah. Did you have to do it? Not it yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's not a... Should just be in terms of his, his huge accomplishments at the end that they write up in there. Just a huge question mark. What was that all about? Yeah. yeah. But I Who think are you again? Yeah. yeah, that's a really good question. Yeah. How did you get out of the bureaucracy? Like, there's yeah. no way <laughs> you should have ever been a Prime Minister. You don't have the look. Is he, is he still <laughs> on holidays? Is he? No, he came back, I think. watching a lot of memes. (laughs) All right. I think he learned his lesson this time, but he's pissed off about it. (laughs) We've got a video coming out about that, actually. Oh, really? Just the fact that he... uh, I should probably know that. (laughs) Yeah, as the chief political (laughs) editor of Friendly Geordies. Have you heard this? Probably should be abreast of this. Have you heard this title they've given me? What? He he (laughs) said... Chief political... What was it? Chief political editor. Yeah. We really well, need a Sydney Morning Herald photo of him there. We'll give him mm. some little toupee so he can have this quiff. <laughs> you should be honoured because that position is reserved exclusively for high intellectuals. Yeah, that's, I think that, but he, Chief political editor means you spend at least 23 hours a day in front of a book. Like yeah. Without that, there's no way you'll The only life. way that you can have it is just to be married to Laura Tingle. That's the only <laughs> possible way. Well, I do it, I do it in front of a screen. <laughs> Or what about a Bingle or a Lara Bingle? That's the name. Well, yeah, close enough. They're both great minds. <laughs> but but, but you know what? Like you know, you know what I actually yeah, believe? This is amazing. I actually think Laura Bingle is more on point <laughs> about politics than Laura Tingle. <laughs> well, I'm going to agree just because I don't know who Laura Tingle is. Yeah. But, uh, this is of the ABC. That's right all you need. Hey, she knew. Uh, she was talking about hand washes a lot before COVID. She knew what was coming. I just pretend it's Annabelle Crab. Yeah. yeah, she has like a whole line of hand washes. Oh, and of shit. course. I just pretend it's cashing in early. Can I just pretend Jeez. it's Annabelle Crab? Laura Tingle. Yeah. Same. Same. No. Just think of <laughs> Lee Sales, except for Lee Sales has been walking around in the desert for a week <laughs> and is really dehydrated. <laughs> but you, you have to realize. Image. Everything to this man is a meme. <laughs> Who's Fergus Hunter? Wait, what? <laughs> everything Fergus to you is Hunter. A, everything Why? Everything to you is someone a meme. Someone is saying Miss Love is more qualified to be a political editor than Fergus Hunter. It's true. He Who's is. Fergus Hunter? Fergus Hunter is uh, now he's the crime reporter for the Sydney Morning Herald, but he used to be the politics reporter. Is he? Did you? Is, did you take him down? Oh yeah. Which one? Which one? The one like? that isn't a girl. As his name is Fergus. Is he in Tassie? Yeah, the there. guy looks like the guy Stuart Little Tassie no, guy. No, no. That guy. Looks like he would have been a side character in Oscar Wilde that had like one sentence in importance of being. Yeah, he does. (laughs) And then walks away, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Are we having our evening of bridge? Not tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Now, that's it. 
Who's got the stew on? Hey, hey, Dorn just uh, chatted, said, Ali, India all out for 36. Yeah, I, I need was, to say something about this. Can you talk I about have it come to regret my extreme bashing of India, Why? even via cricket. Because the other day, someone on Patreon said, Ali, talk more about cricket. And my comment on that was, dude, I think me and you are the only one that get excited when India gets its ass whooped. Uh. And just underneath it, some guy called Pritpal Singh <laughs> said, hey, Ali, I'm a big fan of yours. And I was like, dude, I got to like lay low on this shit. Nah, <laughs> you're allowed to support your, who the I fuck know, you I know, support. but like- It really shows the difference in the- Patreon, you've got to sign up and people that just mooch this podcast for free on YouTube because <laughs> yeah. all of the comments underneath that was like, these fucks don't know what they're talking about. For fuck's sake. Right. That whole spin bowl fiasco that happened a few years ago, that was fully justified. Fuck off. <laughs> they, Get on they, Patreon. You can sledge us better there. Come on here. Join <laughs> the dark side. I like... Uh, not the Aldi kind of prosciutto. I like the one from Woolies. <laughs> Hey. Shane Warne's watching this. Yeah, actually, good idea. <laughs> hey, no, but you're allowed to, dude. What, what was the what was the what was the result? No, uh, well, the Australia won. Yeah, pretty convincingly. <laughs> Fuck as yeah, they dude. should. Hell yeah, I, I feel like superior country won. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> superior team, team. Country win. superior team. All the team. sings out there. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> sing it loud. Sing it proud. Uh, yeah. Well, before we continue. Boys, we really do need to be on our best behaviour because uh, AUWU was trending all of today. Why? And we started a little meme war with them, yeah? Uh, just just for a change, was that? Yeah, just to <laughs> offer them our version of an olive branch. Ah, uh, this which company is... To burn is, the olive branch and chuck it at them. This company is just like Walmart, except for instead of cheap watermelons and long johns, we burn down our own, our own shops and, and just hope that people fix them for us. This is really weird, isn't it? <laughs> Verbal arsony followed by can I have some money? That's the model. <laughs> so, so, okay, <laughs> tell me live on air why, we're, why, we're, why, that, why we have to be on our best behavior. No, 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 don't do that. No, they were, they were just trending all of today and so we just pointed we out should really very just wait casually. And say hi. hi, guys, but they, this is why they'd be super pissed off right. because we did just make it virally trending nationally that they're funded by Panthera and they're super pissed off about it, Damn. as you would imagine. And that is... And they're fully denying it, even though their financials show it. It's a fact. Well, I mean, they can sit there and say, but we didn't actually accept the money. Well, it's not out of your bank account, so Damn. have you used it? Yeah, you've gone to that... Uh, that no, all I'm saying Burger, is, <laughs> Burger guys, Fuel's get involved in the fight. That's all I'm <laughs> yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Fight the good fight. Yeah, fight the good fight. <laughs> I can only... You know, some of that money was used, used it a burger fuel, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just one won't hurt. How about we move that on? It would be twenty thousand dollars, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, but he would. Grass fed, tell ya. Yeah, that's that's, that's, even taste of that's a better difference. line of uh, thought. Grass fed, guys. Are we going turkey this Christmas? What's going on? <laughs> Okay, this is in America. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, actually, yeah. That, there's, that's what check. do you guys do for, like, is uh, for your Christmas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We is do. there a particular menu that ham, you have set? Always ham, and I'm, I am, I never complain. My, I love a good, like, ham, like, there's a special ham we do that's just like, you know, ham coated in a shit. I don't know if you know about this. This might be an Aussie or an English thing, but. Ham covered in a shitload of brown sugar. Yes, I do enjoy it. It's but so I am, good. I cannot have it, religiously you, speaking, yeah, at but, my house. But, but, but you're, you don't practice. No, I do not. It's but my mum will. Dude, I got a puppy and I was looking because I want to feed my How puppy. How is it? Yeah. Dude, it's, it's, well, it's a lot of work. And I've got to set up an alarm after every three yeah. hours at night to yeah. get him to pee. Puppies are a lot of work. I probably should they are. But, yeah, yeah. And uh, so this is like after four days, this is the first time that I'm away from the puppy for like more than three hours. Mm. Um, no, no, it's, it's great. But I was thinking of like getting a, oh, I've lost my chain of thought. You were saying you can't eat ham. Oh, yeah. Because so, I was, so I was looking at, because I want to feed my dog like a raw feed diet, right? So I was looking for, um, cheapest mince meat out there. Yeah. Um, so there were two options, chicken and pork. And I was sitting with my mom and my mom was like, well, obviously not pork. I was like, what? Because like, cause our dogs are Muslim. <laughs> Muslim dog. Yeah. Hey, at least it'll grow up, you know, uh, what's the word? Like has chastity and uh, like, what's the, 
What's what's the sort of thing? Humble, like when you, yeah, like when you're Man. reserved and if you know, all dogs that. don't go to Christian heaven, there is no way they're going to Muslim heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> 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 based there. Muslim <laughs> dog. You know what? Do they ever talk about that? What uh, do, in uh, in like the Quran? Do they ever say <laughs> well, yeah, what all, happens to animals when yeah, they die? Yeah, they all go to heaven. All no. animals go yeah, to heaven. They're not on. They're not. Uh, they're, they're not doing the test. It's just humans. Right, right, doing right, right. The test. But you know, okay, I will say well, this. That's pretty cool. You're missing I don't out. feel sorry yeah. for all those chickens that are stuffed in those filthy cages. Oh, that oh that's a terrible thing to say. But I don't know. I, I don't know if there's no, any religion know. or culture that says that animals are going to go to hell. <laughs> I don't think there's a- Probably I, I Satanism. Think there's, no, what about Satanism? Hmm? Satanism. Dude, even those- I, I think Christianity just- I don't know. I think they just believe in science when it comes to animals. I don't know. I think they're just like, no, they just decompose and then Probably, they just yeah. come back. And, yeah, yeah. Well, if anything, it's reincarnation, really. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what happens. And what happens to you? A big man with a beard is, is waiting for me with some nice meat pies. <laughs> I do uh, understand uh, the. I got the cross. Where do those I'm, meat pies all good? You're flashing old. the cross to not offend anyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a lot of Christian people. Yeah, that get yeah, out yeah. There. That's right. Eh? There's a lot of Christians um, watching. But you know what? So I've been because when when I got the dog, I've been reading a lot of books on dog and dogs and dog training, and I they've I, all been Caesar Milan's. Caesar, there's a few others too, but Caesar Milan was like one of the more interesting ones. Well, um, he's famous for a reason. Caesar for training oh, yeah. dogs. Yeah, Actually, for training dogs. Yes, he's famous for that. Yeah. But he's also famous for because he's just boiled it down. Of I don't be aggressive. I be dominant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his yeah. thing. The pack mentality. There's like two schools. It does of work thought. though. There's two schools of thoughts when it comes to dog training. Uh -huh. There's one school of thought which is like very prevalent. Which is why, actually, by the way, there's a little huge movement to get Caesar Milan cancelled. Uh, <laughs> what? Because I'll tell you. So there's two schools of thought in dog training, right? One of them is that dogs are like humans. They're, you've got to love them. You've got to care for them. And if you do that, then they'll be nice with you. And that's how you get a do good dog. Mm. And then there's the Caesar Milan and the old school way of training dogs, which is that you need to understand that a dog is not a human. A dog is a dog. And a dog will only yes. respect you as long as it considers you the alpha of the pack. That's the because right one, once by the it way. gets into your house, it considers you as a pack member. It, like the fact that you're human, it doesn't make sense to a dog. To a dog, you're part of the pack. That's so that's so that's his thing. But that's something that like uh, this a lot is of a stupid other dog question. Trainers. But do they know we're people? <laughs> what yes. the dogs? Yeah. Well, Cat, they, fucking sheep. They dogs know we're do. different, but like according to Caesar Milan, they think of us as just pack members, and that's yeah. why they they don't think of us as like inferior, superior inherently. It depends on how you conduct yourself. If you if the dog thinks that you're in control, then it's going to consider you an alpha, and then I guess it will treat you as how we would assume a human would. But if it sees that you're a weak person, that's like that's how dogs get aggressive. They start protecting the house because they think, well, our owner's not fucking doing that. He's a useless piece of shit. So I need to do this. In which case, then according to them, you're the dog. Yeah. Mm. If that makes sense. No, it's but like that's a right. status thing rather than an I, animal thing. I, that's, you nailed it. Yeah. Absolutely nailed it. And I think that's the right way to do it because every dog trainer worth it pinch your shell. It's just like, dude, a show assertiveness. Like <laughs> dogs respect, and they'll only listen to you if you're assertive. And kids too, I reckon. That's my two shits. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? You can't be, you don't want to be... <laughs> That's, that's a, my two cents. Uh, I've been chasing you. Like, I wish I had some papers. Like. Actually, <laughs> one of our one of our really really big fans who listens to this pod every time because she added me on Instagram is a dog trainer, and uh, she agrees. When I told her that I'm playing thinking of getting a dog eventually, she said about how important it was to be the alpha. It's actually a really important skill. I'll never forget this. The comedian that I used to look up to. Long, long ago. And I still do. I just don't have time to look at other comedians. Carl Barron. And it was just always the one and only. <laughs> Is he Mahatma Gandhi or not? He's Mahatma Gandhi of comedy. I'll give you that. Ask anyone in Geelong. Dude, Carl Barron's DVD covers are funnier than his shows. They're just... That's, that's very true. <laughs> anyway, sorry, go on. I what is the difference between there's, his cover and his no show? Difference. It's just him going, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> You know about Carl Barron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he exclusively famous? Him and Pink are the two celebrities that are yes. exclusively famous in Australia. In the mainstream. He, he's the pink of comedy. He is the pink of comedy. Nah, that's mean. He's better than Pink. He's, he's quite funny. I don't know why. I, I, he, dude, you know why? This is, this is what happened. 
an, an RSL deep in the depths of, uh, you know, suburban Australia. I don't know what time. I don't know what year, probably early 90s, you know, just had like a Frankenstein, you know, cauldron and there was like a, there was some like, I don't know, ex-serviceman or so, like someone that, that, that had someone there like a, or someone that had deceased or something and they're like, we're going to make the perfect comedian. They're like, a little touch of VB, some meat pies, a sprinkling of the coconut shit they put on lamingtons. Are you talking about Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> no, they bred him and then no, he the woke up and then he just went, the same was, recipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but he, he, and then he just was like, and just came to life. Who wants to hear about my childhood? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who reckons Vegemite's slightly overrated? Nah, nah, hear me out. <laughs> now, time to get blue. I have some observations about washing machines. <laughs> washing machine. Look, that's good. another reason. Dryer's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my this point is, is another reason is that he's there. Quintessential Aussie. Quintessential. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though he's not. Is there anyone on earth that hates him? That's the. That's the I sure as hell don't hate him. Do you no, hate him? Is really there anyone on man. earth that hates an Aussie? Whoa. Eddie Maguire. What? Well, he is one. Who fucking hates Eddie nah, Maguire? No, it doesn't count when you are also one. Yeah, <laughs> that's, like, that's a good point. Who hates an Aussie? No that's one a, hates an Aussie. Oh, no. That Greek Aussie tennis player who's really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That people hate him because uh, he's Kyrgios. 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 Mm. He's actually, Carl but he's, he's Greek. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He's actually he's actually turned that around. Like oh. he was like a he was like rude dick, and then he's just kind of be like, oh, actually, he basically is Carl Barron. He basically was like, I'm funny too, and then people are like, ah, he's funny. I don't care if he's a dick. So yeah? he's actually yeah, he's turned it around. Warney wrote the playbook for that, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. Do you agree? I think he but did. But the problem with that is Warney was legitimately very, very good at his job. This he was. Guy isn't this Greek guy? Okay. He's okay. He's not great. Where's he at in the rankings? Uh, he was good. For, he was number one. like somewhere 20th or something. He was number one though for a while, That's right? That's pretty fucking good. He's That's, good. He's good. There's only 20 yeah. people on earth that are better at tennis than him. Dude, yeah. Warney, yeah. Uh, you could argue that he was the best cricket player ever. What? That's a, a guy f- that smoked like he, he gave his dirty to the empire, empire to hold it on. <laughs> So was like Aussie. one of legitimately one of the greatest athletes. Dude, Man, how do we look dude. up to Don Bradman still? <laughs> Don Bradman. Move over. Yeah, you Warnie weren't was, as good uh, and I you did. weren't funny. Did Warney really do that? Dude, he was one yeah. of the, he's one of the most skillful people on planet Earth. But did he really give his ciggies to the umpire? Yeah, initially. Dude, at one point he's, he's recounting this in like his book, <laughs> No Spin. Have you read it? Have you read it? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read it. Oh, I no, no, that's some straight talk. Dude, but that's he, the right I, title. Yeah. He's talking about like how... By the way, he is now in, in. He's playing international cricket at this point, right? Yeah, still yeah. earning in his career. But he, this he guy comes up to him and he says, "Look, if you really want to sustain this career, you need to make some changes to your life." Kick this. Like, ciggies. what do you mean? He's like, "Well, first off, you've got to like have ciggies after games. <laughs> Don't smoke during the fucking and according, test." According to Shane Ward, he says, "Look, I did it until eleven a.m. and I was like, fuck it, I'm doing, I'm smoking it." <laughs> Dude, he's uh, such a yeah. funny man. Yeah, he's like, the dude, there's this is a commentator who made a joke. Warney was like explaining tips to like this Indian spinner. as like uh, like explaining him how spin works. Yeah. <laughs> and this commentator, I can't remember his name. He's funny. He's like the funniest laugh. He's an Aussie guy. And he's just like, well, the, the weird thing is now the Indian spinner is smoking dairies and having meat pies. So I don't know what advice Warney gave ah. him. <laughs> the Indian guy's just like, man, this guy's pretty chill. He's having the right idea. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. Well, is he the most incredible. Australian man on earth? Has He'd to have be. to be. I think he is. Yeah. No he one's more. Like, Paul yeah. Hogan's probably just one of his cigarettes. <laughs> 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 Paul Hogan is a caricature. Yeah, Shane is. Warren is a living, breathing True man. Blue. For exactly right. Mm. Exactly right. Paul. Uh, Paul, I don't know why Paul he's Hogan is still big. He, he was a caricature. You're completely right. You know how you know that he's the most Australian man on earth? Oh. Because Sandy's family, who Auntie Shelley is based off of, <laughs> loves Warney. Dude, who doesn't he's, love Warney? They, they, but, you know, they have... Like how people have pictures of the Queen over their <laughs> fireplace. It's just him going like, check this shit out. But you know That's what? That's what they worship. Warney uh, is an incredibly <laughs> smart man. He is like one of those party animals and like, yeah, it's just like, well, I didn't sleep last night. Well, I guess I'm still, I'm going to be pretty shit at this game. Oh no, I got seven wickets. He he is one of those, but he's also like incredibly smart. He is. Yeah. He has patience. 
he, he he's a he's he's a non bogan in many other ways. Like the amount of patience that patience that man has is, I is agree, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He's not yeah. he's not a stupid guy. And he's also he not a number bad guy. one rating he's, show he's a great in Australia. Man. He actually got into he a lot a of current trouble. affair. Huh? What? He got into like a, he he's getting cancelled. I don't know if what? you talk about no. this, but like Warney is getting cancelled. You're kidding. What's he done? Well, I'll tell you what the controversy is, but keep your opinions to yourself. Um, yeah, especially. He he so <laughs> there's this Indian hey. player whose name is uh, Chetaswar Pujara. I think difficult name for some, right? Yes, his his what, first did he name. he just say like, fuck, that's a shit name? Yeah, he's like, no, he was like, he, he referred to him as a, a Steve throughout the match. What's that mean? So the, but, but what the, I said is more cancel worthy than what he said. But, but the problem is, this is why he's getting canceled. Okay, so apparently Steve, there's a whole inquiry going on. This, uh, this uh, player who he was calling Steve during the commentary was playing county cricket in England. Mm-hmm. And one of the teams, there's an inquiry going on on them, like how racist they were. Apparently it was like, a, there was the whole, there was this bullying tactics of, Anyone sledging. that is not see this is the problem with no cricket. this is sledging is usually to the opposite team oh this in is like the team, in, in, the team. in team and so they used to call him Steve because you're like we can't be fuck with your name yeah and they used to like call him Uber driver and shit so there's like a whole inquiry going on into that and that's where the the name Steve came from <laughs> and Warney his I I don't think he knew any of this shit he just knew him as Steve because he probably was there and he was like oh yeah that guy's like they refer to him as Steve so throughout the commentary he was calling him Steve and now there's like a whole movement of like oh, cancel war. Come on, that's yeah, but look, that's not going to work. Nah, it's like killing, an honest mistake. Killing right? Shane Warne is like nuking Australia. You can't <laughs> do that. Yeah, it's sacred. And even if you did nuke Australia, I think Warne is the only one that would survive. Just come out like, what the fuck? I, just, I tell you one <laughs> yeah, thing, yeah. dude. Like, did you an earthquake? Warne. <laughs> I'm having a be. This is the other reason why I respect <laughs> Warne a lot. He is actually, in my view. The opposite. This is a very Trump statement. He's the opposite of a racist mm. because I've seen him yeah. counsel, coach players that are like from India, from Pakistan, from totally, all over the world. Right? Totally. He just from, loves the not game. Not only he is he like game. extremely willing, but the way he coaches them mm. is so again so patient. He understands where they're coming from. Mm. So like after watching that, it made me so happy. Mm. And it was the 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 last thing you could suspect in that situation was that this man's racist. Totally, dude. He, he but 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 again, like the Steve thing might have been an honest mistake. He, I think I don't think he knew that there was an inquiry going on into Steve. Yeah, yeah, dude. That now you're right. You definitely get that feeling from because I just remember watching years ago. It was part of school, I think it was. Just during PE, they put in this video of him teaching kids. To play, and it was just like, you know, I'm horny. You just can't want to know how to play cricket. <laughs> and the guy got like results. Yeah. He knew how to teach. Yeah. So he was just basically the best PE teacher of all time. I There's love nothing that. Hate I love he's him. also a really intelligent commentator. He doesn't get that respect because he speaks in a bogan accent, and and he's been like known to be a bogan. But like his comments are always. Crisp and intelligent in my I, I love that peak era of like that when the Australian cricket team like around that era was like the peak like Ponting, War, Brett Lee. Like it was such Invincible. It was so good, man. What was the captain's name again? Steve War. Mark War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them. No, 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 no. Oh, it's another dude. Anyway. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the peak now. No. Nah. you have those boys are you selling th- Fujitsu air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you're are, you, like, are you thinking of like Alan Border or someone? Because nah. that's real old school. No, no, no. It was Michael it was, Clark was after Cl- punting. Uh maybe it was Clark, I was thinking. Anyway, that that era. Yeah. I still remember this is kind of funny. It's like a pointless story. It's not even Dude, worth saying. But I say remember anyway. that era really it well. Was, they were so untouchable. There just no one could beat them. They were fucking untouchable. And they were, like that's when a, when a sports team is like really symbiotic, they're like one organism. Like they're all, they're all in, they're, they're, they're symbiotic. They're just working in tandem. It's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. But uh, They were just like, yeah, they, they were the great wall of China. You couldn't beat them. Yeah, it was the same with the Wallabies in that like early 2000s, really? like Gregan, yeah. Uh, but like that doesn't it? count because there's like you just play with New, New Zealand. New Zealand, the, the All Blacks are amazing. What do you mean? Yeah, but like, but there's two countries, dude. France, South Africa, New Zealand. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, no, it's like Britain. 
England. There's like, and then Britain, for some reason, got a. It's not just New Zealand. There's this, yeah, South. There's, there's some. There's, and they always a, whoop our ass too, right? Like, well, yeah, dude. Like the, the Kiwis, all three million people yeah, are yeah, like yeah. way better. Yeah, I'll, than put it, I'll put it in perspective. <laughs> for a short period of time in the early two thousands, Australia was whooping New Zealand's ass for a few years, <laughs> and then was there. And then the universe corrected itself, and the All Blacks cannot be fucking touched. And within but, Australia, on, aren't they we at rugby league though. It's the same game. Nah, it's the Warriors are pretty good. The yeah. Warriors aren't bad. That's the NRL, the NRL team. They're but also, bad. Mister, why within Australia then? Yeah. Why does New South Wales suck so much compared yeah. to Queensland? Wait, wait. In, in, say that again. Say that again. So not only do we lo- does Australia lose to Kiwis regularly in the union, but yeah, in union, yeah. And within NRL, yeah, New South Wales regularly loses to Queensland. Because Queensland, go to Queensland during State of Origin, you'll know. Yeah, yeah that's Queensland. Cool. You know why? Queensland are better at the game. This is better. They're, they're tougher. They're, they're faster. They're, they're a better team. They've always. got better beef over there. You guessing. know what I think? You know why I think Queensland are better main generally? And this is going to get me a lot of shit being from New Zealand. Uh, sorry, New Zealand. Being from New South Wales. Added. But, huh? Go on. <laughs> but um, all the, all the, all in, in the, in the set, uh, the origin, all the fucking players in New South Wales, there's blockhead meatheads. They're not agile. They're just defense. They're just like, you just get a cement brick and a cement brick and a cement. There's just no, they, they, they tend not to get, they, they, their whole theory is just like defense. And Queensland has these like fucking like, Long distance runners, like agile, like soccer players, like hey, yeah, yeah, they're like running half the field in their own. They're a better team. The wh- they're better. So, they like the so game basically, more. New South Wales is too dependent on protein shakes. Yes, and that's a great metaphor for New South Wales generally. Queensland are just sort of like <laughs> keep it agile. I'm running to tip top. I want some pineapples. And plus, it's like fifty degrees there all year round. If you're training in essentially yeah, Indonesia, that, you're going to do, you're going to play better. In, uh, versus Your fat melts. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, they're just, they're just better teams. <laughs> I, yeah, I always feel like shit supporting New South Wales in the origin. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, okay. And how what? many of them and are rapists? everyone does feel rapist. like that. You can see it. Every time yeah. you see in the news, you just see how rabid all of the Maroons are. Every single New South Wales team They're a passionate like, team. I didn't even know it was on. I just wore this jersey today. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why you just support was, the Wallabies and fuck NRL off. Jordan, was it a New South Wales player or a Queensland player that bit someone's cock? Jesus, that's not... No. That, no, no, dude. That happened. Didn't that happened. You think of Hopper Wade. No, no. Going, Jordan made a video about it in like 2013. Bit <laughs> someone's. I okay, rem- maybe the comments will help you. I did and not know that. Shit in the hotel. I remember all of that. No, made made a dog lick their penis. Oh, that's right. That's, that that's, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, and like drink drank their own piss. I think as well. It was. Uh, yeah. I who forget. are these men? Yeah. How much that's would Isaac are. Butterfield love this conversation? <laughs> yes, he <laughs> would. Have Dude, all the what pod? We're on the wrong pod right now. Know, like, what the really fuck are. is this? <laughs> Me dick stinks. Uh, <laughs> Dude, God. We really need to have him as like Mitchell a, Pierce. Uh, official, huh? Mitchell Pierce. I think that was the dude. Oh, people are down with it, are they? No, they're just saying that's the guy who drank his own piss on camera. Oh, okay, I uh, thought that was like Mitchell, the guy. Commenting. But the thing is, this is what's so good about Australia. Everywhere else on earth, he would be shunned. Oh no, Todd to the region. He'd have Carney. to live in the sewers. Oh yeah, but yeah. Australia is giving him like everyone here is like pissy, or should I say pissy? But what, what are you doing in here? No, no, take this mayor sash. You're the mayor of Cairns. <laughs> <laughs> it's Todd Carney. <laughs> Todd, Todd but you know that makes that a lot of sense. That's a man that would drink his piss. What a name. <laughs> you're, the, you're the mayor of Ken. Australia's a weird place, man. It is, isn't it? But you know why it makes sense? I remember <laughs> reading this book, which I would recommend. I think it was called Australian Peace National yes. Identity and Imagination. Oh, yeah. But it was about like, the look, because we never, like the US or anyone else, we never had like an, anim, uh, uh, an animosity-filled relationship with the Brits. Mm-hmm. We were always just like kind of with them. We're the extension of the British mm-hmm. Army. And at some point, like, oh, shit, we're a different country. The yeah. historians say that the first time that the idea of Australia being a distinct uh, national group from the British was when the Australian cricket team went to England to play. That was the first time people I've in Australia were like, okay, so there's... England and we're different from England because we have a different cricket team. I've heard that before. And so yeah. sports almost makes Australians Australians because without sport, at, well, Should at least be at the, the time. national anthem. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Of song, That's huh? the defining nationalism. Like we, we have a team. 
Look, <laughs> and we're good gold. at it. And, yeah. and, and yeah, I don't yeah. know why Aussies are so- Because that's what we get our national imagination there's from. There's so sport. much, yeah, there's so much emphasis on it. Yeah, that's true. You're right. You're yeah. completely right. Because even, and, and we were just like apparently really good at sport mm. without any investment. There were just a bunch of amateurs- That's true, Who were like- though. Killing it on the global scene with That's the Olympics. That's true. Even I remember like, Kathy Freeman, man. Then? Kathy Freeman even... was amazing. Like across the fucking board, every sport like Australia dominates. Nah. Yeah. Track and field with hopeless. Oh, okay. It was Kathy Freeman. That was it. Kathy Freeman. Anyone else good at running? Nah, in Australia maybe, maybe just Kathy Freeman. But like, but as soon as we get in the water, for some reason. <laughs> well, we're, we're good. incredible. Yeah. 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 Oh no, because Corky. I think it's just like everyone just puts on that hat and they're just like, oh yeah, I remember being in nippers, and then they just <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a huge like beach and swimming culture here. So of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but what, what's what's New Zealand? What's their national identity? I think New Zealand was because, and as Shit. as much as this, like I think the because first of all, they got a lot more resistance from the Maoris than we got Definitely, over here, yeah, yeah. and they had to sign a treaty with them, and so they got enshrined. So there was their national identity. I think was aided by their their treaty with Maoris to explain, okay, this is who we are. We came here. We recognize these people. We're two distinct groups. With us, it was like, it's now, true, now it? one it's like was here. forged nations. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We listened to the queen, and uh, but we're a different country. We're still, we've got the queen. It's like, I don't know if I need to hate you or love you. I cannot, can't I just love you? Let's just make- So they really didn't have a national identity that was- much more distinct than Australia's. Let's just make New Zealand, Zealand another. Flight of the Concords. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, really dude New Zealand should just become another Australian state. Come on. Let's not yeah, be messing yeah. around. Just make, like, you know, don't deny the history or whatever, but, like, come on. It's just easier. <laughs> it is. It's got the same amount of people as Sydney or something. Oh, right? man. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Have you been And I'm there? not even convinced that that's true. Yeah. Like, as if anything except Auckland exists. Yeah. Have you been? I've been to Christchurch. At exists. That was very an infamous place. Very, very. Wait for it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Dude, I swear to God, <laughs> you just went to Threadbow. <laughs> I went. To, I fucking didn't go to Threadbow. I went to fucking. I, I, I but is went there a to difference? To, it's the same thing, right? It's just a bunch of alpine Look, houses, and let's be honest, uh, a bunch is too much. Ten. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you, like. It might have been Threadbow. Like, it was basically Threadbow. Like, I remember just going over there and just being like, no, it was New Zealand, but I just remember going over there just being like, am I, I think, I just feel, it just seems like Australia, except You the weren't accent. in all. No, it was it's really not pretty. Narnia. Well, look, I didn't, I went to, I went to like, how can I put it? Uh, this is probably going to offend a lot of Kiwis, but I'm pretty is sure- Is there any Kiwis? Just let us know. Yeah, let us know. I, I, yeah, actually, let us know if any Kiwis are watching. I'm curious. I'm is, sure do you agree also, or disagree with this? Also, do you have the same complex that we had in the 20s? Do you just see yourself as part of Australia? I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, let us know. But like Christchurch to me was kind of like- <laughs> you know, How do you not know the answer? You know what Christchurch was? I swear it's a made yeah. up country. You know what Christchurch well, was? Tasmania. Christchurch was just uh, like- Disregarding the mountains because Christchurch is like quite flat, you know. But Christchurch is like a, a, like a boring town, even for them, right? Well, I don't know, but I was gonna say, it just reminded me of kind of like Katoomba, but not hilly, like a flat Katoomba, which is yeah. beautiful. I love Katoomba, but like and that's what I thought too. You know, it, it was just very similar, but instead of people being like, you know, they're just sort of like, here's a gooing, yeah, and like, and also, guys, yeah. can you also name? Fuck, I feel like an American asking questions about Australia. Do you have any other animals except for the kiwi bird? Which, let's be honest, it's just an ibis that's brown. <laughs> yeah. Is there else what, to are it? There, what are the other national animals? What are New Zealand's big animals? I don't think they have any. Kiwi. There's a few kiwis. <laughs> kiwi Terrace. Explain that's Christchurch it. is the gateway to the. Uh, fuck. Aor. Okay. Uh, that's like a. Okay. That's like. Wait, a, Kiwis, also answer this. Is it worth visiting your country or do you just get the gist of it going to Threadbow? <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, I had to fucking cancel my tickets, my Airbnb bookings for Tasmania because of goddamn Gladys and her <laughs> let go of the Northern Beaches. And yeah. I'll, I'll say this as well. That is a step down. Wait, <laughs> what? What do you mean? I, I don't know. There's just a pocket of Tasmania that no one lives in. There's just yeah. one ski resort in the middle of nowhere and a bunch of wombats eating around. And I'm pretty sure the staff were wombats. Yeah. And then when you go to Hobart... Yeah. I've been because of the the changes in demographics there. 
such a weird place. It's just Hobart, it's over and over again. The sea captain from The Simpsons <laughs> and Bell pretty much mums. everybody. Yeah, that, that pays money to the Greens. That's it. Yeah. It, it, like Hobart to me was the most um, I've ever felt uh, like it was old school, like old, like, like, you know, the colonies and like, I don't know. It just seemed, it's just like, it did feel like that. Yeah. You know, Did I you mean, live there. Yeah. Well, dude, I've, I'm at the point where I think I could live anywhere. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> like you just go into a volcano and be like, you probably don't need a Schwitter. <laughs> no, dude, no, I'll wear one. I, 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 Ali, I'm honestly, the older I get, the more I'm just sort of like, the more isolated, the better. Like the outback sounds mighty tempting for me these days. I don't know. I could live anywhere. So you do want to live in a volcano? Kind of, I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure that those are uninhabitable now. You can't really live in the outback. Yeah, anymore. I want to live in the yeah. I want to live in the place where it's like Maharaj the Ranger here. You know <laughs> that house. That house. <laughs> you might not know this house. No, I do not. Yeah, but it's basically a you know like I don't know like like what's what's man? F- those <laughs> kids needed season Milan to teach them <laughs> dormin needs. They don't eat pesky. corn on the veranda. Eat it outside. Sorry, Ali, you have to know the advert. You don't have to know the ad. It's just Yes, a- you do. <laughs> we'll explain the ad then. It's just two kids. No, first of all, it's like some guy looking out. So dumb. Was, and it was so mean as well because it started at the peak of the 90s droughts. Yeah. <laughs> just this ad of this farmer sitting out on his rocking chair in the middle of the desert. And then he hears this tink. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Madge, Madge, the ranger here. He runs inside, it pans up, and then there's two kids giggling, eating corn, going, nah, nah, so <laughs> juicy. And the water is just sprinkling on it. Such that was a the whole 90s selling point. Ad. McCain's corn, it sort of tastes like it's fresh. Oh, it's a McCain's corn ad. Yeah. And that, yeah. that well, has to be. I'm, I'm, a, I'm that, very that was upset our Seinfeld. That. that was the <laughs> best joke Australia ever came up with. Dude, it was so like. I have to say, you know, I feel like that's a very Pakistani ad. <laughs> like dude, we're you're still just... selling tractors. Hell yeah. Oh dude, go to regional Australia. We're selling a fuckload of tractors, tractors too, my friend. Do you know like what you notice when you go to like a third world country is that all the ads change completely because so over here you'll get ads for like uh, I select car insurance or you'll yeah. get like Foxdale, get the footy. Yeah. And also heaps of these ads. This is an SUV utility vehicle. You could scale it up yeah. a mountain, but it's also really good for Westfield. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So you get a lot of that. Like you can tell that people that these ads are being pitched to have money to buy SUVs, get insurance. Yes. You go to Pakistan, dude, all of their ads are for nothing that's over 10 rupees. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> get this packet of chips now available in five <laughs> rupee packets. Please dude. buy it. <laughs> and it's really yeah. sad seeing uh. the Brad Pitt of Pakistan selling banana milk. <laughs> dude, I have that's to say- That's his best gig. Each- Regaling story you tell me of Pakistan. Each one, I want. I, I want. I wish I went yeah, every time. I wish your, I went. Your brain embodied. It we is. Just, that's all we do. I we wish I went every time you say a story. I, I just feel fucking like Dude, this is not the greatest like, part. The other thing is because ad. This is the other thing because ad value. When you're selling five rupee chips packet, mm. I'm guessing you're not paying a lot for your ads, right? Because your turnover is low. Yeah. So, dude, like if you watch a Pakistani YouTube video or anything. It's just fucking filled with ads. Like ev- after every 20 mm. seconds, there'll be an ad because they're not getting $12 per whatever uh, thousand. They're getting like 20 cents. So they have to make oh, that shit up. That's really brutal. And so it's insane. So you watch a television, you'd watch like primetime um, news show or whatever. So let's say the show runs for an hour and I am not kidding, 45 minutes are ads. Whoa. It's 15 minutes. That's the actual show. Because they need to Fuck. make that. So good. It's the, in Pakistan's version of 60 Minutes. Coming up next on 12 Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> are is there like chips? a 60 Minutes there? And then, and, then, and then the 12 Minutes is just like, which chips are tastier? Sweet chili or sour <laughs> yeah, cream? It's just a There's native fan. advertising even in that. Can I, can, can I, okay, this is probably not the, uh, the, the right, it's a, you know, time and place to ask of this, but like, uh, Pakistan. Would you would you describe it as crony capitalist? Um, you're giving it too much. I think I would describe Fuck. it as Agarian 
society with some capitalist elements. Like, yeah, that's what I would queens? say. Dude, I would... What this is, is what it is. It's Age of Empires 2 <laughs> land party. No, no. <laughs> that's brutal. That's What are you talking about land party? What everyone's playing? Where there's like eight people sitting over... Age of Empires 2. in their like Windows 2000 comps. Well, I did like the <laughs> guy... I did like the guys who go, Oh, no, no. Yeah, there was a lot of them in Pakistan. The architecture... You would really love it. The architecture wasn't that bad in, in, in Age of Empires 2. Like, it's kind of a compliment. I mean, it's a compliment. Okay. But like what we were discussing in the Up Late podcast, sign up. Sign up. Uh, free edition podcast, which is pretty much this, but you pay for it. <laughs> but and we sometimes talk about sex rare. <laughs> anyway, sorry, go on. <laughs> you we like that. barely do anymore. Uh, I'm not having sex. I mean- not, <laughs> what do you mean you're not having? Yeah, oh, it, it really you're not playing the from field. Sex to, not I playing guess, the field. Using sexual organs. There's I mean, now a lot of discussion about my ass hurts. You guys know why that is? <laughs> yeah, sign uh, up, sign up. You're not going to get it here. It's still um, saucy. Yeah, it's still I'm saucy. not playing the field, so I don't nearly has as many juicy stories. And you, on the other hand, Miss Lover, too secretive about that shit. Um, well, tonight I'm going to let loose, Dale. So shine up. He's got a lot of stories. I got some stories for you. Dead bugs in women are his two favorite companions these days. <laughs> these days, yeah. <laughs> and which one? Find out which one gets me hard, or which one gets me harder. The, 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 the sorry, I'm drunk. The uh, the answer will surprise you. <sighs> Wink. <laughs> <laughs> it's the women. Spoiler: He got his cock sucked by the bed bugs. Um, oh damn. They there turned into a giant mouth. By the way, how's your measles? <laughs> now they're the Australian. I think the measles team. are gone. Or uh, you tell me. Oh, dude, they're still there. No, what are you no, about? they're more prevalent they than last are week. Pronounced. And I think that you went to the doctor for the wrong reason this week, Miss Love. You probably should have got that checked out. Wait, what did you, what did you go to the doctor for? <laughs> I've got this there. blister. I got this Stop blister here. It. Why? Because oh, it looks like a tick. But it's not a tick. I know it's not. Is that it's new? a pustule filled with blood. Look at it. Touch no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> is that something that you've always had? Touch it. No. No, Wait, I'm not touching it. it recently. In in it's fucked. I was like, it's just filled with blood. And I was like, I've, what I've, is I've this? seen this on people. Well, it's I, like well, a thing. Well, I went happens. to the doctor and I was like, look, I was this close away to stabbing it with a needle because my mate told me to do that. But I thought, look, <laughs> maybe mate. I. But then I was like, maybe I shouldn't. Dude, you know what's, what's great? The, uh, what's the best thing about your mates? What? You know what not to do immediately. <laughs> well, I was really close to doing that, and then the lovely lady said, "No, by the way, everybody's just really, really proud about you, Miss Love. What are they proud about? I don't know. Just that you are rockers of Freddie now without any cameras. That is look not accurate whatsoever. But look, we it is. It's just a slew of Ukrainian women that just come in. You're like, hello, welcome to my house of fun. So look, I've got. I've just (laughs) not true. I've got a message from Sandy saying, "Yeah, Miss Love agreed to uh, to me setting up a doctor's appointment last week in Albury, but then refused because he had to pay for the appointment." (laughs) Facts, all facts, people. No, this is what I said. What do I pay for Medicare? Hey, I vote. Labor, I want fucking Medicare. <laughs> I'm not fucking doing this health insurance bullshit. And you know what's weird? You just started voting Labor, even with that <laughs> yeah, know, extreme privilege in your head that if you vote Labor, everything is free. You were still like, nah, I'll go for the Libs. I don't like I the bet, color red. No, blue. not Libs. I never voted for the Libs. I thankfully skipped that. I went from Greens. Rich. I went from Greens in high- Australian hi- sex parties. No, I went from Greens. To like a weird middle period of like weed party, no uh, car meters party. Uh, what's that dude called? Dick Ch- Cheney. Dick the, the guy who who has peanut. Dick Smith. Dick Smith for That's a not bit. A bad choice. All those things, and then I went to Labor. So I never voted. I never voted Wait, Liberal. Dick Smith. Oh, Dick Smith. Yeah, yeah. the guy who's like. But nah, this is isn't it just Australia the needs to have twelve voter. people and but no this more. Is, yeah, but this is the quote. Uh, I quote said to Sandy. Uh, I said, <laughs> I said, how much is it? She said, 50 bucks. And I quote said, I'd rather die than pay the 50, 50 bucks. <laughs> if any Americans are listening, joke. you it's can afford to be this guy in our country and See? still survive. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you need universal health care. Yeah, if I look, if there's ever an argument for universal health care, it's, it's me, guy. dude. It was like he's like fifty bucks. I'd rather <laughs> die. No. No. Because in their minds, they think that he's paying bonanza, and they're just like, no, you won't get a better deal than that. You have to sell out now. This is a great country. It's not perfect, but it's a great country. Uh, so thank Wait, you. What's Sandy. not perfect about it? What do you think are the bad things about Australia that like Yanks should know? 
Uh, let's all? delve in that on the up late pod. <laughs> <laughs> we should we wrap this up? What? No. What do you mean? Uh, hasn't it been like forty minutes? Well, yeah, but our pod's like at least an hour. Oh shit! We've got. You guys want to know something that I learned a few weeks back? I'm feeling loose. <laughs> Sorry. Shit. Go on. Now that's sailor eyes. <laughs> He's got the first mate shirt on as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to go. <laughs> Look at my boil. Yeah. <laughs> the new and improved Friendly Geordie's podcast. Now with Jordan Shanks, Ali, and of course, Popeye. <laughs> yeah, g- 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 come on, he makes Yeah. And he does. Dude, he does because he has ridiculously <laughs> large <laughs> arms now. It's true. Hat. No, but I know you've been working out, but it's showing. Yeah, well, that's the whole point. How many times have you got to still gym a fat and you're fuck like, though? I need, I really need to lose. But see, this is my problem. Like he's being very committed to this. I'm happy I am. for him. Yeah, I, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am, aren't I? Yeah. I was expecting every day, you to just nearly every day, because you are legitimately. This is true. <laughs> I remember one year when we were up in Lithgow, he picked up one of his girlfriend's magazines, Who or some shit, and mm-hmm. then it just had tips for keeping to your New Year's resolutions. And he was just like, oh, now this <laughs> is quality reading. <laughs> and obviously didn't read it, even though that was one of his New Year's resolutions. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just <laughs> astonished that he got those Popeye arms. <laughs> I mean, it's getting a bit weird now because he's still got the gut and like a small body. <laughs> and fun. now he's just got these huge gorilla arms. I don't like that. How it looks I- like SpongeBob with the inflated <laughs> arms. <laughs> Can someone actually, if there's any uh, P, what are they called? PTs in the fucking, which I really think there isn't in our fan base. But I, I, can, you, can you tell me how, to, how I can stop being like, Fat and like having a small body and just big arms. Like I know cardio. Let me let me take care of this one. I know all the ins and outs about this. Do you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but dude, like it's it's simple. It's cardio. I do cardio. Well, no, it's that like eat less you than you eat put less in. Eat less and uh, yeah, it's that's But dude, literally I, but I don't eat that much. Like I don't eat breakfast. I just have coffee and I'll have a lunch and then like I'll have sometimes I'll have a dinner. Miss, it's like Matt. If you're gaining weight. There's somewhere you're going wrong. So I'm eating too big a lunch. Because I ate this fucking what, same what amount you, as him. What are you no, eating? No, you don't. Bullshit. You did for two weeks. That was one of your New Year's resolution moments. Yeah, that's true. I didn't. You, you don't eat, do you fast. I, well, it, well you, that's your fucking fault. Is you're just, it? Yeah, because you're just like- Fast just, is a cheat. It's a hack. I like the fasting, but Jordan's just sort of like, you know, he'll be like regaling about s- tales about cordon bleu or something. And then like at- fucking 3 p.m. When, when I'm starving. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, we're going to do this video and this video and then go to, oh, by the way, we're not eating, eating, eating anything today. Oh, yeah, sweet. Okay, what time do I finish work? Midnight. Anyway, let's keep going. It's not exactly the easiest fucking strategy. You're making it harder yeah, for me. That's the only thing he looks forward to in those situations. <sighs> Can you fucking can't. give me a day's warning and I'll do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Very upset. But you, but you you find it hard to fast, right? Of course, I fucking find it hard. No, to but, fast. It, but what I'm saying is like it's easier for some people than it is for like Jordan's for me. Good fasting at it. is actually easy. Really? Uh, Fuck! I'll lay six to it. I, I can because I can I stay why. hungry for Allah. long. Allah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the power of Muhammad for wow. someone that I don't know. But for some reason, being conditioned by my entire country to fast, I find it easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I never crazy. lost it. That was just your society was Big Brother, except for it was just sitting there, just being like, "No lamb today." <laughs> that was, um, that's really no weird. lamb, no sex. Let's see what they say. Do you though. think that it? Uh, do you think that that actually helped? I didn't fast as a child. Yeah, you were the chamber. I mean, wrestling. I did a little bit, but like, it wasn't never expected off of me. In fact, it was actively discouraged in my family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being on my my Six mom would be like, "What's wrong with you? You're gonna have to do it. You can't eat then. Just do." <laughs> and then so she would lie to me as a child. She's like, "Okay, so kids can do half a fast." I was like, "What's half a fast?" She's like, you can only eat with one half of your mouth. <laughs> that's uh, like a child. Kidding? Yeah, that's like a child one. But I actually didn't fast. I I got okay with staying hungry when I. Came, when I ha- started hanging out with you, you you got me into it. Really? Yeah, and because I that, had never you, fasted right. before. Right. And it was like you, me, and Dome King, and you were really into fasting. And I discovered from that process, actually, I can do this. It's not, This isn't difficult for me. Mm. What's Usually I eat a lot once 
when I'm done with my fast, I'll still eat a lot, but I can fast for however long you want me to. That's good. I mean, like I, okay. I Jesus, find it. I have. I would be, make the worst diet book. This is what <laughs> I've instilled onto you, Ali. If you just eat a steady diet of lettuce bags, nothing, and KFC, you will have ultimate health. You can though. Mm. That's how you have KFC. If you're like fasting on a regular basis. Then that is the only situation where, like, actually, your body will be able to withstand KFC. <laughs> because KFC requires a lot of digestion. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that, I think that's my... Someone said, eat more salted meats. M- meat slav. <laughs> <laughs> meat <laughs> slav. <laughs> Bologna <laughs> bradgy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I get, I'm getting a lot of mixed stuff here. Cut out some cards, do waste. I mean, I, we did, for lunch today, we did have like a big bowl of oily noodles. But like, uh, I think that's my- but Let's put it this way. You are having less of those because you used to have two ramen packets worth of noodles. Yeah. This is like, a step down from there. I don't know. I think it's just like, I think for me, it's just, I think it's just being, uh, what's the word? Disciplined. And I'm not disciplined enough. Like for instance, like, you know, when we went on tour um, down to- Why we did can you say, do that? It's a legitimate thing he does. But it wasn't a tour. <laughs> because it wasn't a tour. Do you think it's not funny? No, it wasn't a tour. It was like going to a fucking small country town to abuse counsellors. It's, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not a tour. <laughs> Very esoteric. Yeah, uh, yeah, we could rewrite Lee Kernigan's song. <laughs> The boys from the city are back. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That was amazing, by the way. He, this guy's got gusto. But like, you know, because of that, it was just like, all right, KFC, three meals a day for four days, sweet. And then yesterday, like a, I got a very traumatic phone call. Uh, well, kind of intense phone call, which we will not talk about now. We can talk about uh, possibly in the up late, sign up to Patreon. But like these things happen because I am just like a woman. I'm just like, oh, I'm so upset. So last night I was like, oh, that's it. I don't see any alternative to drink other than drinking five beers. Oh, it's, you know what I mean? So it's like situational for me. So like, I think that I just need to be more disciplined with the way I am because I know that when we were starting to do those, those fasts or like I was doing them with you, I noticed that I was just getting like more trim and shit. But then I was just like, you know, little things add up, I guess. But Look, and I'm being harsh on him as well. It means I've taken your shirt off. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, just show no, us I'm a bit a of the time. Fuck. No, well, I don't know why you're being self. I am. <laughs> no, you're all right. You've just no, got the I'm belly. Fat right now. That's like the post yeah, 30 belly. Goes, but at least he's got those drawn in. It's like it's Frenchie's little six pack body. What are you talking about? No, I, I Dude, Also, to. like, why do you have these marks? That's my fat. So, like. Leaning in on itself. Yeah, so I'm a fat bastard. Look well, that's shot. really scary. Oh, fuck you. Nah. Dude. Well, uh, look, maybe it isn't scary. <laughs> no, I don't know scary. what it's like to it is have scary. a gut. But look, like, you know what? Jesus, it, I didn't know it gave you rashes. It does. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. In the new year. If it's too big, it still doesn't give you rash. So you either go like really thin or really big. Right, right, right. Otherwise, if you're in between, you get rashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because bro, I'm smooth as shit, baby. It's all, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a big little dead. pillow Wait, down there. Guys, how do you feel about this? And I, and I wouldn't mind keeping it as like a tally. Everyone can keep a tally of me. And like, it is going to be hard, but I was thinking it's, it's hard because if you're like going on dates, it's impossible to not drink. It's like, how do you even get around that? I don't think it's impossible. It's a conundrum. It's a very serious problem. Having said that, I, I, Wait, wa- why, why? I want to give, I want to stop drinking. Why do you want to stop drinking? That's your new year's resolution. Yes. Dude, that's a fucking hopeless New Year's resolution. Why? For you, him. You are not going to stop drinking. I'm going to go okay, LA you're Australian, Australian, you have in your arms. You are mislove. Like, it, there's just <laughs> so dude, many things working against but you. I know, but I'm thinking like you LA- a share house. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm thinking- And you're single. I know, but I know that, but I'm thinking LA sober. What's LA sober? Smoke weed, do drugs, just no alcohol. But what's the point? <laughs> like, that's that's great. What do you mean what's really the point? Good alternative. Yeah. Yeah, cocaine. Alternatives. I'm going to move to cocaine instead of alcohol because yes. alcohol is bad for well, you. What, what are you fucking Martha Stewart? Like, what, what's the fuck's wrong with weed? It's fine. If I just smoke a little. You, you love smoking weed. Yeah, I do, but I don't think it's like a healthier alternative. It, it is. This is the other thing. It is a healthier alternative. You've got the right idea. You're supposed to replace it with habits. You're just not supposed <laughs> to replace it with worse with habits. With bad habits, yeah. Dude, <laughs> everyone needs to let loose. But wh- why do you doing, want to quit drinking? Just what we were talking about the other day, just have anime coffee dates with <sighs> Tinder. Nah, dude, nah, it, co- you do that? Dating is I different. I do that, but dude, 
Go on, tell me. Tell me. Dating. The problem with like uh, having sober dates is that it's you hard. might like. So, for instance, like I would have been fine with sober dates, but it just helps loosening up it, the other person. It's annoying. Like it makes it so but much you know, easier. This, you know what? I wish this was the reality, and, and I swear to fucking god, I wish that alcohol was like this fringe thing, and that people just ate soma, and it's just a pill. And when you go on a date, you have a tab of soma, and it's like fifteen bucks, and that's, that's roofie base. That's different. Well, I wish that everyone Same was shit. roofing each other because it's just like it's such a fucking hassle to just like, oh yeah, okay, we spend three hundred dollars and get fat and feel like shit and write my next three days off for a boring conversation. All right, sweet. <laughs> like you know, or whatever. Like I'm not saying that they're not boring, but like it's just like. No, nah, a lot of them are. Boring. It's just like it's just it's just a shit. I don't know. It's it. I'm over it. I'm just getting sick of it. How many dates out of ten do you think are good? Uh, uh, eight, maybe for me. Good, dude. This is this is this is my thing that I've been like explaining Five. to a lot of people. Five. Whenever you hear people like, oh, t- particularly women. Women have horrible Tinder stories, and like most of their Tinder stories are bad. My experience have has been that like okay maybe eight out of ten is not someone that I would want to be with but eight out of ten times I've had a decent time mm. like they seem mm. decent individuals to like chat to maybe you don't end up doing yeah. but like I so my experience has always been great I don't know I that's lucky. I don't get the so crazy. do you think that everybody who is having these bad Tinder experiences with the obvious outliers most of the time it's just that they have shit social skills no I think men are worse than women. Women. women women usually there are crazy women out there too but most women on tinder and miss loves made or bumble <laughs> yeah. are most of them are reasonable Can't they 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 might want uh, but but some men are just like dude they're 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 like uh they think they're fucking uh, genghis khan and they're just out there to conquer mm. you know like there's a lot of Guys. good looking men have realized that getting pussy from tinder is way too easy yeah because yeah, if you're good looking, I thought it was like a diminishing market because maybe zero point five percent are women. But all is that, that right? entire zero point five is gonna go for a guy that's good looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they end up getting, uh, they end up getting laid a lot, and women because they're just swiping based on like hot or not, they usually would go for someone that's kind of hot. Usually, a hot man on Tinder is going to be a dirtbag. I don't know. I haven't dated a lot of men on Tinder, but that is my understanding. But he has. Just a few. Yeah, <laughs> just technically, but I tried it out. Yeah. At least once I have. <laughs> I uh, but, I, but that's my. Uh, like, women's Tinder stories are way worse than my Tinder stories. Most mm. of my Tinder stories have been fine. Mm. Tinder mm. doesn't work for me. I, I stand by that Tinder is just like. Tinder, the equivalent to Tinder for me is just sort of like. Do you want a vodka? Yeah, sure, sure, whatever. Because the vodka is the way to enjoy the night. Vodka is the way to have a fun night with friends. Oh, you seem to like vodka a lot. What do you work for them? No, I'm in love with you. Poof, and then sticks a stick that says drink vodka. I'll be drink Bacardi. That's Tinder. It's just the fun. I, I really, I'm, I'm trying to grasp what's the reality of the situation here? What The what reality of the situation is yeah. it's just bots to me. It yeah. seems to just be bots, yeah. It, it, there's oh a yeah, just trying to pick up the Instagram. So, profile. Yes, yeah. yes. So your algorithm up. is fucked. Yeah, for Tinder. Yeah, and and yeah, that's the other thing Tin- that happens gang. with non-hot guys on Tinder or anything. <sighs> right here, um, you you just get fucking pushed back into the algorithm. <laughs> so a lot so of these fucked. women aren't even seeing you. Yeah, they're, they're seeing only the hot guys because there's an oversupply of men and. Tinder now knows which guys are popular and which guys aren't popular. The the not Trage. popular guys are really at the bottom. They just keep swiping, but there's no one looking at them. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, it's the algorithm's real, man. The algorithm and you know what? The, uh, the other thing that I learned from like the Tinder and Bumble experience, which I did not know, and it's worth I knowing gave up for on men. Bumble. I haven't been on Bumble for like six months. Because what works for you was something that never worked for me. Hinge. Yeah, Hinge is the only Hinge one. Hinge never worked for so me. So strange. But what you what you do really, and Miss Love, would you agree with me? What mm-hmm. you, I didn't know this before my whole uh, uh, online dating experiences. Most men are really shit. What do you mean? What do you like mean? Like most men that women end up going out with, like the stories that I you hear. I they're, would, they, well, look, they, I they're have. They're just like. Have you heard my? I've got some either they're too stories. pussy or they're crazy. <laughs> have you heard my story? How I invited, and we won't divulge yes, it on this. There's, but there's guys that do shit like that. <laughs> 
So just, they'll, they'll, I'm just going to put it out yeah, there and tell not the wait, story. No details. That's something you shouldn't do. A I, lot of guys I don't know do if I told like you this, that. but I once invited someone. I was doing a. a, a, a <laughs> Go on. I was doing started it. a housemate meeting in a pub. Mm-hmm. It was a meeting of potential housemates. It was like five or six of us, strangers, really. I invited I invited a date to a housemate meeting, and I told them all she was my cousin. Oh my god! <laughs> so that's a, a guy. You who, sir are a class act. Yeah, he does not you know give how a to fuck. treat a girl. You know how to treat, but. A girl. In Miss Love's defense. So when this happened. <laughs> in Miss Love's defense. Couldn't have happened to a more deserving gal, eh? <laughs> Well, we won't go into that now. <laughs> but, you know, so, but we will go so into the late gal, night pod. Late night pod. Not now. Not now. Not so now. that gal who <laughs> went out with Miss Love. <laughs> Everyone is very <laughs> impressed with this. Are they? It's shocking. I know. I was shocked at myself. Well, you'd be surprised how many people do shit like that, Miss Love. Well, I guess I'm in that group of so dickhead when, men. So the girl that you went on a date with, who you took that, so she probably ended up having not a great opinion of you. Of, of course she is. She is telling that story to thousands of people. Yes. I am that. I, when people say, what's the worst Tinder thing you've ever had? She retells that story. And I am glad. I'm glad because I also, I don't know if you guys Why know this, but a, as much as I love love, I almost equally love funny shit. So the fact that this tale is being retold around Sydney and it's it's funny. Wait, <laughs> I'm really into space it. Space Farmer so is asking you, why did you have to say she was your cousin though? Because I didn't want to, t- to admit to the other people that I was the on potential housemates date. that I was on a first date. Cause they might be pissed off like, well, this guy's a weirdo. I don't want to live with him. He's inviting t- uh, hinge dates to a group of randoms. So I just so was my cover. You almost ruined my relationship as well. Did I? The first date that I went on with my now girlfriend, yeah. you also went on a date with someone else and you were calling me saying, what are you up to? And I was thinking, that's at right. that point, I didn't think that I was going to end up like being with this girl or anything. And so I was, I was like, <laughs> well, there's my mate. He's getting bored. You want to come? And I knew that was not the best thing, but I was like, well, whatever. <laughs> so she tells me later, we ended up like coming to um, where- KB. Uh, I should say, some the, pub. The, the, the pub with the burritos where I used to work at. And Loco, yes. shout out. Mm, so we ended up going there you weren't there so i ended up just like having a chat well she tells me later that that was she thought that, that i wanted to bail fuck so i nearly ruined you your nearly relationship ruined your and because girlfriend. you ended up getting lucky and you left home he, he's he's calling me and he's saying oh dude i don't know this date's kind of weird and i was like and then like as soon as i end up he's like ah, i'm getting lucky tonight i'm having sex with her yeah you can go fuck off now <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I am Rob Schneider in The Animal. Like, that's <laughs> funny, man. I'm a funny person. Can you at least give me that? I'm pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, we, we, we'll give you that. <laughs> You've so- definitely earned that. <laughs> Actually, while I'm just uh, on the subject, well, I'm not really on the subject, but yeah. my girlfriend just contacted me. She got her first role in a movie. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, dude. Cool. And how cool is this? Yes! Yeah, that's the sound effect, finally. The one permitted per episode. And well deserved. What is it? <laughs> just someone's Miss Love's sense of humor is like, he just showed me a comment. I thought it was important. It just said Jizz Love. <laughs> jizz Love. <laughs> well, that is important. Thank Sorry. you for bringing that to our attention. <laughs> yeah, it's more yeah. back there, but all right. Your story, yeah. So your Continue. girlfriend, so your girlfriend, a, it is amazing. Role? Yeah, it is amazing. She's, she's she got her funny. first role in a movie. The director was so impressed with her that she's already casted for another movie. Dude, fuck yeah! Isn't that incredible? Yeah, she she must well, be really it's, good. Nothing that is really amazing. like no, chew is out of this. I it's just, amazing. It needs to be mentioned. Like no, there dude, is something to chew out of. Anybody who's sitting there just saying that I'm, you know, an actor and I'm, you know, it's impossible to get anywhere in life. I used to think that that was the one field where that was acceptable. I used to always think if you're a musician, if you're in a business, whatever, if you want to make it work, you can make it work. I used to give slack to actors. Not anymore after witnessing my girlfriend. You know what she has that other actors don't have? She used to be in the corporate world, so she knows how to write schedules for herself. She knows how to stay to target. Yeah. Most actors <laughs> have Netflix. Yeah. True, it's that's really it. They're just a bunch of drug and just no, and, and no work ethic. Too. Huh? No There's work, no ethic. work yeah. ethic at There's all, no, but yeah. it can happen. Three years. Before that, she was really in the corporate world. Then one day she decided to quit, 
Three years later, so before you would even Amazing. graduate from NIDA, she's in movies. Uh, dude, that is that is huge. That's huge because yeah. she didn't go to like uh, she didn't go to NIDA. No, she didn't go to NIDA, uh, but she went to some Denada. piece of shit school that accepted like, her. This is the other thing I think that like you hear thing. this all the time with all the other actors that are around her. They're always saying, "Oh uh, yeah, well I'm not going with any agent unless it's an elite agent." No, don't do that. Take whatever you are given. Yeah. Grasp it and say, thank you, sir. May I have another? That's yeah. your only way of going throughout any of these creative fields. Just the next stepping stone in front of you. Jump onto that one. Mm. I just had to get that out. No, no, no dude. Oh, I- also, you know what else I've got to apologize while I'm thinking about it? You know, yes, last maybe last week or the week before, how I was just talking about Pet Barn. Dude, I didn't realize this because you just, while you're t- saying a story, you're not really thinking about the words that you're saying. But I said a line. Apparently, the girl that I thought was awesome, uh, her boyfriend was contacting someone at Friendly Geordies. It never gets to me because I just don't ever pay attention to the internet. But she, he was saying that I said, I can't even remember what I said now, but it was something along the lines of when I was explaining that there was one chick there that helped me and got like uh, my fish, which was very helpful again. Thank you. <laughs> Satiated me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but while I was discussing that, I said to her, uh, I, I was explaining what she was saying and I said something along the lines of, she said, oh, I'm so sorry about that. She's a fucking idiot. Everyone hates her or something like that. But I was just like saying the lines. Obviously, I wasn't thinking about the direct quotes or this would ever get back to them or anything like that. And she apparently got in trouble from her manager for saying something like that, which I just want to I told you she would. She didn't say that. Yeah. What she said was way less intense than that. Probably wasn't even the sentiment of it, but I'm not even going to try and re-quote what she said because, you know, this is not... I, I, first of all, like, I'm, I'm taking the Gladys Berejiklian in exchange. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Like, it was just... Even then, I didn't even remember because I was just in, like, a yeah. haze of talking about it. She was not saying anything anywhere near that intense. That and Pet Barn, if you fire her, come on. She was doing a bang up job in that situation. If that didn't happen, I swear to God, I would have just been like, that's it, and got the phone out of my car and filmed the whole situation. It would have been like a massive PR headache because, like, call me a Karen if you will. But I think actually that's pretty deserving. Just be like, yeah. that's it, I'm putting this on the net. But, <laughs> I told you but, she wasn't the manager, dude. Yeah, well, look, whatever. The point is she's a stand up gal. No, she was, and I really yeah. don't understand. Like, all I remember is that she was... This is all I'll just say about it. She was just like peeved, obviously, because she was trying to diffuse a situation between some random customer that she probably didn't know mm. and uh, like some staff member or something. So she was peeved, but she was also, I've got to say this, extremely apologetic and stopped you guys from having a big PR headache. So if her job is in jeopardy, I'm just saying this right now. Darl, don't even know your name. I said maybe two sentences for you, but I'm giving you a job at Friendly Geordies if you get fired. That is not okay. Like, I'll find Thank something you for you to do. Hey, that, you can, you like can that. replace Miss Love. You can replace me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, need, we need a female in this pod anyway, so I'm, also happy like take my, I'm just happy to take my leave, you know? Sorry for just doing the massive wog thing of just being like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what she said. Anyway, just continue. But, you know, you, you're not thinking about the direct quotes or whatever when you're speaking. Yeah, you're yeah. just trying to get to the next point. So... Uh, yeah, sorry that I was, shall we say, loose with the truth. But uh, I, yeah, I, I am genuinely sorry for that because, dude, she, Super that is healthy. a good employee. Yeah, absolutely. She, she did a good role there. Hey, she works at a fish place. She can just tend to the <laughs> aquarium. We need it anyway. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. It's good you cleared that up. It's plants. Good. Plants are kind of like non-moving animals. How did this Details are important. How, after that story, how was this chick that gets into trouble? So I don't weird. understand that. That's you know what's weird. bizarre? I predicted that was going to happen. Did you? That's how it happens, these big Why? companies. Because it's like that... PR is PR. They don't care about the details. And this is not an indictment on Pet Barn in general, by the way. They were the only organization that gave money to the Animal Rescue Collective. Really? It was just me and Pet Barn. So I think, in general, they're a good organization. Is that true? Yeah. And yeah. people wow. are just going to be like, hey, puppy farms, do you research? I don't have any puppies there. There you go. Yeah, but... Um, Didn't know that. Yeah. No, it's good to do. Look, just again, just again, though, if uh, there is any problems with your management or whatever, just... Find the way, whoever you are, kind knight in shining armour that you are. Cunt, making me apologise on here. 
But anyway, don't call them a cunt. <laughs> but uh, no, but honestly, Jocular. I am genuinely sorry. But if, if if you just just go through the normal channels that you did your contact anyway, if like she did get fired or whatever, like I guarantee you, I'll find something for her to do. Yeah. Right? I don't want that person out of a job. Yeah, I think we all wanted mop head out of a job, yeah, but no. somehow this mullet headed freak is still there. How does that work? Well, look, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, know. Explain the big corporations thing. What, well, what look, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know how it works. It's just that generally speaking, like any crazy subversion is putting out a fire irrelevant of if it's right or wrong. <laughs> right. That's how it works. Right, right. And generally speaking- But the, she put out the fire. No, I know, but they don't- It's the devil's in the details, Dales. You know, they, they're not interested. It's kind well, of like, if I was a corporation, I would definitely be happy that someone has- Put an end to the issue definitely, rather definitely. than it being yeah. continuing on. No, that's true, but they, yeah. you know, they, they probably, they probably, uh, look, they probably don't even know the internet exists. Pet Barn probably still offers out of, uh, you know, operates out of a pet barn. So they're probably just like, you know, they're probably just sort of like, you say sorry. Now you say sorry. Right. <laughs> More goldfish in the goldfish. There's not, there's not that many goldfish in there. I don't want a goldfish tank without at least thirty percent fuel because yeah. I mean it's ridiculous. You see the founder and his Amish. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Wouldn't be Me surprised. Either. I'm just saying, like the bigger a company, like and it is a big company. Yeah, it is the, the that, McDonald's of pet yeah. stores. But good. There's a, there's, a, there's a million explanations, but like because don't you reckon during the bushfires, McDonald's thought, in lieu of the bushfires, <laughs> we're giving twenty grand. To Ronald McDonald House. <laughs> yes. I think they did fuck all. Yeah, we are donating two semi trailers full of Mc old McFlurries we couldn't use. They were expired to throw on the flames. There's just people like hurling McFlurries. <laughs> yeah. This year's stimulus involves a six pack of nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, the M and M's are exploding! Ah, oh, hot chocolate! Ah, <laughs> like burning on their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, should Ronald we? McDonald in the vent. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> He's yes. the Joker, the OG Joker. Yes, he is. All right, um, should we? Do you want to say goodbye? We're over time. We're getting Merry over time. Christmas. Uh, are we going to have a lovely Christmas? All the best. Thanks for tuning in. Sign up to Patreon because that's where the real action is. We love your support. And are we going to see him before the new year? Yeah, I wanted to. It's up to us. Do you want to? Do we want to go on a holiday for next week, or do we want to do this? It's up to the boss man, really. <laughs> Let's go on holiday. Let's. I just think I need to go and see my par my grandparents in Central New South Wales. Let's just say you don't know that is a long way away. Let's all just say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. If we don't see you, and we love you. Scratch that happy holidays, though. But, yep. yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you guys this is next why year. you shouldn't drink on the pod for <laughs> egregious errors <laughs> like that. Right. Uh, uh, we almost got out with being cancelled. See you next year. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you guys. Thanks for